Recognizing successful commercialization of university research was organized by Accelerating Higher Education Expansion and Development, also known as the Head Operations, and the Ministry of Education was held at the BMICH on Tuesday. The event was attended by the country manager of the World Bank, Chiyo Kanda, Surin Raghavan, State Minister of Higher Education, and the chairman of the United Grants Commission, Professor Sampath Amaratunga. Going forward, the universities need to continue to support and undertake research that is policy relevant and generate innovations that are useful for firms and companies. Much more is needed to address the challenges facing the higher education sector in Sri Lanka. We want to encourage the government to explore innovative approaches to financing research and innovation activities in the future. Bold policy actions and investments are crucial to enable Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka to address many and complex economic challenges the country is facing at the current time. The World Bank Group is preparing its current, its next country policy framework. Recognizing successful commercialization of university research was funded by the World Bank. We need to ask what's happening in the higher education sector in the bigger countries. If you take America, UK, Australia, India, Japan, those 10 top countries in the higher education sector, there is a paradigm shift that is taking place. If we need to safeguard the state higher education sector, there is a fundamental demand that comes to us internally and externally. Internally from our new generation of graduates, externally from the world forces of higher education. 